Good morning, YouTube. I have a cup of tea. It is kind of hot, but it's just brewed. But it's definitely a cup of tea. Fiku is here, and <clears throat> I have some stuff. So we're gonna start with um, just a couple things I picked up from the carpet sale yesterday. Nothing major, but a couple things. So we have. Pieces of some sort of Hot Wheels set. Um, I'm not sure what this would have been part of. I feel like this would have been part of one of the Ultimate Garage sets. Um, I think somehow the. Yeah, so this pump goes in here somehow, I think. I'm not sure. There's a petrol pump piece and there's like a clip that doesn't actually go in the clip. Um, the stickers are actually in alright condition. This is just a weird zombie poster for some reason in the car park. Uh, I don't know why. Um, yeah, that was one sort of small thing. I also picked up this, which is part of some like Hot Wheels set as well, with some sort of weird rubbery thing. These clips. I feel like this might have been like an obstacle or far an obstacle from that. From some sort of monster truck set, there was a also a monster truck ramp that I didn't pick up. I'm not really a monster truck kind of person. <clears throat> the only monster trucks I did get are the Grave Digger and um, what's it called? Uh, the Bone Shaker one. <clears throat> we also have a few vehicles. So we have an RD03 because um, accelerators. Alter. I don't think I've got a particular one. We have a Lamborghini. This is a Lamborghini Aventador LP704. Uh, the paint is a little bit faded on it, so like the stripes are kind of starting to go. A little bit of gunk on it. I'll have to clean this up and maybe maybe strip the paint off entirely, but I do like this sort of metal plate orange. I might just repaint it, or I might not. I like to keep it as it is. I mean, Midnight Auto in red flames. Just looks a nice little Ford station wagon, an old Ford station wagon. So I picked that up. And a Ferrari 458 Italian in black with sort of red stripes. And here's the logos. Again, a little battered, but again, I can sort of fix that possibly or just keep it as is. Um, probably that's probably the most, the best thing to get out of all this because. Hollows don't do for Ferraris anymore because of licensing issues. Because I think Maisto or something now owns the licensing of some other company. And they have like exclusive rights. And I have a couple of C CBS parts. I don't know what figure this would have been part of. Probably a fear factor thing. I don't think this would have been Bionicle. But um, this was a throw, and all of this was a quid, so can't really go wrong. I'd have paid a quid just for the four cars, so. Um, so I'll be using these as mock for mocks and stuff. I'll probably be putting this towards the skull slicer or whatever figure that needs silver hands. <clears throat> I don't think I had enough silver hand pieces in that previous lot that I put picked up for. Um, but yeah, that was just one lot of stuff. I figured I could probably add this to my garage set. And like I said, we quit for all of that, so it does me nothing wrong. Uh, a copy of Gran Turismo 3 from CEX, 50 pence. I know that has their usual cost, but it, the disc itself is a little scratched, but... Uh, you know what these games are like for actually working, despite, despite being slightly damaged. That's going to go towards my gaming club. I, I, I'm part of a, I say I'm part of, I like to help out a group called Team Wars Thunder, shout out to them again. That's going to go with that lot, the donation. <clears throat> and two Xbox One games, so Minecraft and GTA V, two these are for five or each, they're worth a little bit more than that, so I'm going to be flipping those. I won't say where, that's my trade secret, but I can flip those and I can make a couple quick profit on each, if not more. Um, so that was yesterday. 
carpet Oops. itself was a bit crap, possibly made worse by the rain. Uh, turns out there's one probably much closer to me that I could probably easily get to, and I didn't know about it. And it's on a Saturday, which is easier to get to by bus, because Sunday services in the West Midlands are kind of shit. Well, they're not shit. Some some Sunday services are shit. They're once per hour, if that. Or they start at, like, 10 a.m. Yeah, I was stuck in a place called Star Bridge for, like, two hours. It's fine because the weather spoon's there, but, like, because the, the next bus to go to the car bridge I was going to was... Two was ten o'clock, and I was there, like, half eight, and I was like, why the fuck? Great. <clears throat> anyway. I also have a box. Instead of the box is Lego and my uncle stuffs. <coughs> Sorry about my throat. <coughs> Not sick, it's just my throat is being a fogger from yesterday. Inside this bag is stuff from Bricklink. I'm very excited to get started with this. I'm move this stuff up here. onto the floor over here for now. I'll sort it out later. Just make sure I don't step on and leave it. Um, so in bag one, we have a Metro head, and a couple of them actually, because I figured I might need them for mocks and weird things, <coughs> and they were very cheap, so. <coughs> we have a castle piece, castle crenellation piece, for my villain Dark Lord's castle, a couple of sort of yellow gali style heads, again, these were very cheap, and, um, I'm experimenting with this piece in particular. I also needed to have this piece in particular just so I can send it to someone and be like, hey, can you recreate this color in resin? It's like the exact color as best you can. I've also got one in green because <coughs> Tahu mostly. <coughs> and again, mostly the part of uh, Castle Coronation in black because my Dark Woods Castle mostly uses the red one at the moment. Black one is slightly rarer, and also, um, I just want to break up the colors a bit and give it a bit more of a variation in color. I think both of these would have been part of some sort of Knights Kingdom things. There's some more Knights Kingdom stuff in there as well. Another Metro head. <clears throat> we have a couple of Krana holders in red, green. I think there's a blue one in here somewhere. These were exclusive to the Borok Va, so really good to get. Very cheap, I think like six pence maximum each. Which is really good for a uh, piece exclusive to Borok Va because I think that's the only piece exclusive to Borok Va aside from the Krana. And the Borok Va are kind of, in some aspects, more expensive than the Borok themselves. Uh, <coughs> we have a castle tower piece in the old dark grey for towers and whatnot. <coughs> Ah, this is the one I'm expecting it to be. A rubber band holder. <coughs> I'm gonna use this decoration for my uncle stuff because these also appear in Bondful Heroes in various different colors, like weird rocks and bits of terrain and whatnot that you can blow up. <coughs> A couple of Rashi Baki body pieces, so one in the new grey, one in the old grey, which has been specifically for the Rashi. A normal color corner holder, there's a couple of these. Needed them for breaking the Barok. Uh, speaking of which, more Barok parts. Another Metro head. Um, a sort of a zip cord for Tuka spinners. It's very useful to have them. Also, this is the slightly rarer one, I think. This one's like a dark bluish grey. These were also used uh, with the the good guy slash bad guy figures they did for like Brick Master or like Poly Bags promotional stuff. <clears throat> Technic piece, which was commonly used as the necks for Mata figures. Technic beam piece. Another Metro head. <clears throat> Some bark teeth pieces. A pretty big sort of castle crenellation piece because, well, I've never actually gotten any of these ones before, and they are a nice big castle piece, so... <clears throat> it helps to, like, bulk out my big castles and fortresses and whatnot. Like, I could do sort of like this. Maybe put something underneath here, and just make it a bigger, wider castle out of it. 
now. <clears throat> another dark grey castle piece. And another one. In the technic beam, uh, we have a green throat limb from Levat Va. Sorry, Levat Cow. Uh, blue crown holder. There we go. Three crown holders. Another crown holder for the regular ones. Another neck. <clears throat> Actually, it turns out I did need these, so great. This is the connector for Mahri Kongu and a couple others, like Karsani. Uh, particularly, the um, turns out I have most of the Mystica Kopaka and Mystica Fantoka Liwa sets, which also use these. I do need the extra brains, because I there was only one brain to two of those figures, so it's really good. <clears throat> More bark piece, another bark sort of limb piece, uh, lime sort of Mystica Matoran piece. Funnily enough, not actually cracked, so very good. <coughs> Gonna use it for mock, but maybe I'll make the little Mystica guy now because <coughs> because I have most of Liwa go with it. Another castle formulation piece. <coughs> Bloody hell, sorry about my third day. <coughs> Tending beam in a different shape. More bark pieces. More bark teeth, and you have a few of those. A whole bunch of technique parts. Just wanted to stock up a bit more. A Borok eye for Gathlock. Borok eye for Tapnock, I think. Another Avmatoran piece. Tenant connectors. Uh, another Tenok Eye. Cockrack Eye. Uh, more Technic stuff. More Technic stuff. Uh, the one in red. I can't remember what uh, for Levac, I think. Uh, second Brain. Okay, it's cracked, that's fine. It's a green hand from an Avatoran or something with your factory set. Uh, the Shook Spinner piece in grey, again, is used in polybags as well. Um, Nuvox Eye, I think. Pathrax, maybe. Another eye. Another eye. And I think they only have one each of the sort of the orange and red ones, though. <clears throat> Bunch of Technic pins, just need those. Always need those things. Yeah, the slot should help me finish off at least one of the Borok. Um, a bunch of Mata torsos. I like using these little armor pieces on bigger mechs and mucks as well. Oh, I like how they rank this. Have a piece of Anika armor, so the main Anika armor piece, which I'll use in a mock. And another Anika armor piece. We have a bit of a Staff of Light Blade, which was used in a few figure uh, characters, including obviously Takanuva, but also I think Volta, one of them, the one of the Voya Nui Matoran used it. <clears throat> this is a cool piece, it's really cheap. Uh, this is Dika Anua's sort of Titan. It's slightly rubbery. I like these sort of rubbery ones. Again, just really useful, interesting weapons for things. We have Onua's sort of Bustle Blades. I actually had a few of those in that lot uh, that I got the other day. So these are kind of interesting surplus parts. Uh, oh yeah, we have the instructions for Exoforce Dark Panther. They also had a few other Exoforce things in there, but I wasn't sure what it was that I'd already got, and I'm an idiot, and I should have checked, but I couldn't be bothered to check. Um, here. 
Oh, we have the canister canister mask from Bezok. I'm not actually sure if you can really use these for anything, but it was cheap and I thought it was cool. I'm going to put that sort of my Kanoe collection. I might well be able to send that over to a friend, uh, my friend who does 3D printing. Maybe he can edit this in such a way that it can be used as a Kanoe for something. Because, I mean, if you look at this, that's a Metro head. It roughly fits a Metro head. Could make it into a Kanoe. In theory. Ah! This is what I came to this store for. This is Kurak's spine piece for the Rakshi Kurak. And, uh, let's actually get them out right now. weapon for this. Look. And we slip that in like that. Put you back on. Stick the crosser back in. And that is Kurak actually complete now. It's the last piece I needed for Kurak. It's also cool because this one actually also has its crater, so that's uh, other than one foot Vorak, which might also be in this lot. No, it's not in this lot. Once I finish Vorak, I have all six Rashi. All I need then is to get the crater for the other three. Crater for the other three, which should not be difficult per se. Um, we have again because these are cheap. We have a couple of Varaki mandibles. There's a couple in this lot for Eclect and the blue one, but I might need them for more things and also just, they they make good weapons too. Uh, this was very cheap, so I picked up this piece of Karapara's armor. This is a unique little armor piece. We have uh, the Kanoe, I can't remember which one this is, Kanoe for... Uh, Nuju, but also Kazi. We have a couple of these sort of hand pieces in that sort of transparent orange color. It's predominantly used for Rashi, but I have other uses as well. And a couple in that sort of newer color, which I think might have been for um, Toa Jaller. And also one in light brown, which will be for Huki, the Matoran Huki. Which is my other one that I need for that, because I do have one of those pieces already. We have a bunch of these, also in the light silver for Bark Cow. Because I have a few Bark Cow now that are incomplete and need these hand pieces. And also a whole bunch in this transparent blue, which is also used in the Boraki that I have. I might need these. But also Matoro. And also just, again, these are cheap and in weird colors, so. And also a. Hunga slash Mactorin foot. It was two pence, and these are not common pieces, so I picked that up. We have Rashi limbs in black for custom Rashi builds and stuff. Also in dark red. Also in dark blue. More in dark red. Also in yellow. I think this is part of Kitongu or something, or some other weird set. Um, it's just good to get them in, in non, non Toa colors, you know, like non. I guess like Yuki, who uses yellow, but most of the. It's sort of an off color for Bionicle. Most of the things are like red, blue, green, black, brown, and white. Uh, Avatorian limb, or Shadowmatorian limb. Black Metro foot. Red Metro foot, which I needed for Vakama. Heat orange Metro foot. 
can put them apart if you come to it's just again nice to get these sort of metric parts in off colors a white foot i think i actually have some of those spare from the other lot a black foot for anua silver foot for bark cow um a sort of paraka armor piece in Keton in orange i don't know what this exactly was part of but it's an interesting color for it and a metric foot in blue Again, spare parts are just useful. And uh, we have a, in this little bag we have some scrunkle eyes, I call them. Little scrunkly eyes. We have a Technic piece. Is that silver? That's grey. I thought it was supposed to be silver. I think that was supposed to be flat the silver one, actually. That might be more correct. Also that piece and a ball joint piece for something else that I have planned for. <coughs> one side. And finally on to the rarer pieces. So we have me uh, Mata armor in sort of that darker silver color. Is it part of a Zaymorph Sphere Launcher in gold? This is one of the pieces I need for Radak. <clears throat> a red, rashy sort of <clears throat> limb piece. I may use these to make wings or something for my big mock, or just make it towards a red, rashy. <clears throat> Levac Cowl's Shield. Head brain piece. And as long as it goes in, it's very much the same sort of <clears throat> And that is everything. But definitely a good array of parts. I should be able to finish some more things off with this, or at least come close to finishing things off. I still need the remaining other piece for that launcher. Um, and the, I guess, the rest of the setup for the Zamus Trail launcher for Rayback. And it's done. Um, I still need one more foot for the comma. A few other minor things here and there. But. Yeah, everything's sort of more complete now, hopefully. And I should be able to make a few more mocks out of this. But thank you guys for watching. If you're going to comment, like, subscribe, and get to check out twitch.tv slash go check sec for when I play Bonkle Heroes and stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye for now.